Hey, what's up, Hoofo? This is Jeremy. And this is Rashad. Ooh, ooh. So, hood folks, today, <sighs> everybody need a little fish in their life, right? <laughs> yeah, every now and then. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And if it wasn't for fish, a lot of us wouldn't, wouldn't most of, uh, everybody wouldn't be here. Yes, because it takes fish and breadsticks to make people. <laughs> Ooh, so is that what they mean where God took two pieces of fish and two pieces of bread and fed the... I, I, I was the month or two. You're telling him. <laughs> anyway, so if y'all saw the Food Virgins this past Friday, y'all saw the show with the Popeyes and they had a flounder fish sandwich. Asian. And a flounder fish sandwich and they fried it in shrimp grease. And I said, well, damn, I really wanted to taste that sandwich because it was looking good. Even though some of y'all said the sandwich was, then some of y'all said, mm. then some people said it was good. So I can't judge, I won't never taste the sandwich. But that's okay. I don't want no motherfucking flounder anyway. I want to be with <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what it is? Hold on. <laughs> That's a cat fish. <laughs> so I'm gonna make me a Hollywood spicy catfish sandwich. Popeyes, don't try to steal my recipe because y'all know your kind is known to steal. Because y'all know Popeyes is not owned by no. It ain't owned by. I hate when black people do that. <laughs> you know, just a few. I just hate that. I just, it's just it's not owned by black. Anyway. So let's start with my tartar sauce down here in this bowl. Now, <clears throat> this is how I make my spicy tartar sauce. I use Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise. Use whatever kind of mayonnaise you want to use, but I use Hellman's. And I'm only gonna make enough for like four sandwiches. So I'm starting with about that much mayonnaise. And like I said, this is light mayonnaise. Now, in the Bible days, it was a story about Ezekiel and them dry bones. Anytime you got some in your life that's dried up, you're going to have to speak to them bones and speak life back into them bones. You got to speak life back into them bones. So we're going to start off. This is the Ezekiel and the dry bone. Diced minced onions. They dry. See how dry they are? That's about a tablespoon of dry onion. You're going to put your little water out on them like that and stir them up. And we're gonna let them dry bones just sit there. And we're gonna speak, Jesus, I speak life into them bones. I speak, Ezekiel got down there, he spoke life, and them bones started shaking. Ooh, them bones started moving around, and they was back alive. <laughs> Don't play with it. <laughs> Next, <laughs> cayenne pepper. I say about two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, because you want it to be hot, but not like God. Leave that too hot. All right. Then, hot sauce, about that little bit, hot sauce, all right? Then we're gonna come in with, this is sweet pickle relish, sweet pickle relish. I say about four teaspoons, cause I like my uh, tartar sauce to have a little bit of, a lot of pickle stuff in it. And you're gonna stir it like this. See the lamb? Now, when you get through speaking to them bones, them bones gonna be alive again. Look at them onion. Look at them onion. Chop minced onions ready back for action. And you take those minced onions. And onions is the key to tartar sauce. Onions and pickles. When you put onions and pickles and mayonnaise together, that's the key to your tartar sauce. See that? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is spicy tartar sauce. Just make sure it got a little heat to it for me. Ooh! Ooh. Damn! So we're gonna let this. So we're gonna let this. 
Look at my little lid. <laughs> Black Friday said, motherfucker. Anyway, we're gonna let this sit and chill in the refrigerator while we get the rest of the stuff cooked. And by the time we get everything together, this gonna be really done mermaid into the refrigerator. I hope for so. Do y'all remember I told y'all about this? Get down here. Get you a pan, a pot, a pan, or whatever. And fill it up with water. No, you can't use this water to take a wash off with it. <laughs> you gotta go to the bathroom for a wash out. Use a rag. <laughs> yes, use a rag. Run a rag with that ass. Anyway, I'm gonna take this water like this, about that much, and I'm gonna put cinnamon. Cinnamon in the bag, in here. About a two tablespoons of cinnamon. <laughs> Tablespoon. What the fuck? Ah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this boil on low as I cook my fish, and my house will not be smelling all stanky and fishy. All right? Like next door. Like next door. <laughs> <laughs> Them fucking BDs. <laughs> I start making spicy fish. All right. What I'm using starting with is uh, this is yellow cornmeal self rising, so it already has the uh, flour and meal in it. It's already prepared for flour and meal. So I'm using about that much. All right, so that we're gonna add some seasons. Seasoning salt. Now, I'm telling you, we cook how you really cook at home. I can't give you no tablespoon, teaspoon. I can't give you that. I'm frying four pieces of fish, and this is what I'm using for four pieces of fish. Season salt. Boom. Jerk sauce. I'm just using a tad little bit of jerk sauce to just get a little, like, what the hell is that? A little jerk sauce. That's it. Onion powder. Boom. Garlic powder. <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> White pepper. Just a little bit of salt. Don't want it too salty. Just a little bit of salt. And this is light salt. Y'all, let me tell y'all about something right here. Have y'all seen this in the store, in the commercial for this ranch season? Have you, if you see this in the store, y'all, you know what you need to do? That's fine. Keep on walking. <laughs> this is not about nothing. This is trash. They make commercial that this is trash. Don't buy it. Dumb down. And <laughs> cayenne pepper. You want to give a good bit of cayenne pepper because we want it to be spicy. All right. All right, so you're gonna mix that up together. Just like that. Got that? Got put, that put that aside. Now, with my fish, these are the fillet size I'm using right here. And these, most people fry their fish probably with an egg wash, a milk wash. I found, for me personally, that putting the egg and milk on it, it makes it real dark. And I don't like my stuff dark. I like it, you know, brown skin. Brown skin. So, since I'm making sandwiches, I'm gonna cut this fish in half. See, like that. So we're gonna make a sandwich. Might double. You know, we might double this sandwich up like that. Y'all know how I am, ratchet and ghetto. Like that McDonald's double. double but you know what? Sandwich. I'm gonna leave this a hole so we. This will be my profile picture here. I'm gonna show out with this one piece. This one piece here. Come on, baby. That fish. You gotta pull that fish aside. Ooh. Pull that fish apart. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Run no wrong dog in this fish. <laughs> All right, so I'm using my cast iron skillet to cook this in. I wish I had some old grease. Old grease cooks better than new grease, straight up. Anyway, I'm using canola oil and vegetable oil. You don't want to, I fill my pan halfway. You don't want to fill it too much because you don't want the grease, you don't want no spillage. So you're not going to cook it in um, shortening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm shortening the damn cooking time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let my grease preheat, get hot while I go get my fish together. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I got my batter right here. I keep my fish down, come down here. I keep my fish in the cold water. Some, like I said, some people use egg, milk, or the, even the mustard, all they do is just help your bread and stay on. Me personally, I like to keep mine in the cold water so I'm gonna get rid of pride. And what I do is I take it out, line it up like this, wet, like this. Not so dry, you know, I'm not patting it dry or nothing. I need to be wet like this. Ooh, that gonna fly everywhere, dude. <laughs> you, you already hear them, don't you? 
That's my fault. Well, I do shake some of the excess water though. I do it a little bit. We'll do that. Now, what I want to do is go in with some lemon pepper on the fish itself. And this is the flavor. You know, lemon cut that fish a taste out. So I'm going like this. Flip it over. Season it generously. <laughs> <laughs> like this and lemon pepper this stuff right here is real salty so season generously but also don't do too much and since we're gonna do it spicy just a oh shit all my stuff gone look at that and just a little bit of cayenne pepper just a little bit of cayenne pepper like that just a little bit a little a little bit you know how they give you when you have extra salt they give you just a tad bit you know Rashad, you should work at McDonald's because you good at stinging this. That's a damn lie. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, so you're going to come in your batter like this. Bread. Boom. Bread. Boom. Look at that. 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 You might need to add some more flour, I mean, meal to this in a little bit. But come in like that. Shake off your excess. <laughs> Ain't know what you said? Oh, you can put your lid on like this, though. Woo! And shake it. Now, this one, I need me a mask. Because I feel like I'm finna sneeze. I need a mask. I'm finna sneeze. I need a mask. Where your mask? Where your mask? I'm finna sneeze. Where your mask? Where's your mask? Ladies and gentlemen, where your mask? Alright, <laughs> and this is how your fish gonna look like that. Shake out the excess. See? Shake out the excess. Shake out the excess. Shake out the excess. Get them cones, and that's it. Alright, so you take your thermometer and you see what your temperature is. And if it's hot, that's what other folks do. But in the real kitchen, what we do? It it's ready as shit. <laughs> and I'm not really concerned about this back here having a lot of season on it because when they get done, I'm going to peel it off anyway. I don't. I circumcise that back part of the fish. And I'm going to lay it down like this. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan. Let's see. I probably do them three right there first. Three minutes on this side, and I'm going to flip them over in three minutes. All right, folks, so this is my last piece of fish. The one I'm going to use for my thumbnail. But see, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Most people be like, they would show this on camera because they too perfect, perfect. But me, I keep it real. I told y'all when you cook that first, see this? Look at this. This is my first batch of fish right here. When you cook that first batch of fish with that new grease, for some reason, it burn, in my case, then, it burns it up. But then look at the other ones. They ain't burnt up. It don't taste burnt up. It just look burnt. We still going to eat it, though. They don't go away. Yeah, yeah. Good I might as well go on and do this since I'm over here. How about a few Jojo potatoes in them, mother? How about a few Jojo? How about a few of them Jojos? Yeah. Go on, throw a few of them little Jojos in there, Jim. Uh-uh, Jim. You need to throw them Jojos on the other side, Jim. Don't overcrowd your pan, Jim. Got me one more going now. And that's it. Let them Jojo go and do something. All right, y'all. Look at them Jojo. Look at them Jojo. I like them look like that. Hell yeah. And it don't smell like fish in here because I got this right here. Got that cinnamon over there, boy. Smell good in here. Smell like cinnamon in this bit. All right, y'all. So there go my fish. We've been eating up the we've been eating up the darker pieces. The dark should go first. <laughs> and then we got the fish right here who passed the paper bag challenge. <laughs> Going on the sandwich. That's so fucking colorist. All right, let's go to build these fish sandwiches. So, folks, so here go my spicy tartar sauce. Now, one thing about us is we like our sandwich to be real wet. Now, if you don't like a lot of sauce, just put a little bit. But we like both sides of the buns. <laughs> Please get both sides of the buns and get make sure you get every single last corner of that circle. Now, this piece of the fish right here, y'all, I don't like this piece, this back part. So I usually scrape that off. I usually scrape all that off. I don't like that stuff. That this piece of this part of fish right here will give it that 
I don't know what you call it, that real fish and stuff. It make it taste real fish and kind of nasty. And I don't like that stuff, so I scrape that out. Now I put it down like that. Three pickles. Uh oh, upside down. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sap. Look at that sap. Look at that damn. No cheese on it. <laughs> Y'all, I can't stand cheese. I can't stand cheese on fish, and I can't stand cheese on chicken sandwiches. Anyway, put a couple of these JoJo down like that. Bro. Do that look like a hit or a miss? What you think? Definitely hit. A hit to my health, too. This ain't here to your health. <laughs> Friedness. Uh. Potatoes have potassium in it. You need potassium to make your blood go good. Right. <laughs> and this is a brioche bun here as well. I hope folks. Finally. Hair makeup. You got me good looking? Got me looking good. Am yeah. I looking like a man of the year? Uh more like a man out of the five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, juice. Alright. On my JoJo's, I like ketchup, a lot of ketchup. Now, I got a video on how I made JoJo's. I try to put it in the box below. Mm. Mm. So good. All right, let's get to the fish sound. Popeyes, eat your heart out, bitch. <laughs> That's the inside. Well, let me see. So I'm inside. It's cooked all the way. This is good. It's got just the right amount of heat for me. Now, if you like a lot of heat, put more cayenne pepper in yours. But this is just the right amount of heat for me because I'm weak. I'm a rude poop. Not too salty. Not burned up. That homemade tartar sauce tastes so good. When Ezekiel got them dry onions down in there, them bones woke up. Ooh, feel good. Hood folk, try this. Try the recipe. It's good. Damn. Don't trip me, y'all. Look what else I got. Y'all, I'm a wino right now. I hope this phase pass away. All of it eating all this week is salad and wine. That's it. Sal we ate salad and wine all the week. Salad and wine all the week. Yeah. So, I'm finna go live in about a couple of hours. Y'all got your liquor together. We finna play some love song. We some love song. Come on, Rashad. Tell you this same. Tell folks what you think. Look how I'm swaying. Come on, Rashad. Like what the hood folks? Y'all got y'all merch? Get your merch. It's attached to the link. Uh, and it's on our uh, community, community wall, wall and, and all our the good page. Stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so let me give this a try. There we go. It look good. All sauced up. Saucy, no sauce. Anyway. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Shelby wanted to draw a beef with these folks. I ain't got time for no beef. Mm. What you like? Be real. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's kind of perfect. It's better than Popeyes. Really? Yeah. What about them JoJo? Mmm. I like that crunch on them. Good vote. That fish sounds good. I got my tropical Sprite and I made this myself. I just took some Sprite and some Grand Tropical <laughs> juice. Pour a tad bit of it in there. There you go. Ooh, I like that burn with. You gotta have a Pepsi, Sprite, Coca Cola, or something when you eat a fish sandwich. That is the best thing to drink with a fish sandwich. I know, right? Anyway, hood folks, try it out. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and press that ugly ass bell button to get notified whenever we put up new content on our page. So that's it. So you're going live in what? About a couple hours? About two a couple hours. Three or four hours from now when I get this video. All right. Well, hood folks, we'll catch y'all later. Look at that. Y'all like a lot of ketchup on y'all uh, fries or no? <laughs> oh, we do. Peace up. Peace up. What's that again? Peace up.
Peace out. <laughs> you thought I was going to say A-Town now, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs>